Hello guys, thanks for joining again. This is Red Line Max. Today we have a special car with us today. This year is a 2020 BMW X7 X-Drive 40i. Um, we'll be going through the whole car with you again. Uh, we're we'll starting from the outside of the car, show you what, uh, what's new in this and uh, the inside of the car as well. And uh, go from there. All right, let's go. All right guys, starting from the front, you can see here the first thing I want to point out is this massive kidney shaped grill here as you can see here this is a very big car so obviously they'll make this grill as big as uh, possible to kind of fit the shape of the car and uh, going over to the right here you can see the LED lights right here it's got this projector lamps right here which is really nice really clear, uh, shines the road when you're driving especially and uh, going over the front here you can see it's got a intake here this is wide open as well for and uh, also you have the radiator right here so this is open here all of this here as well completely open the only thing i want to point out as well is this one here is closed would be because there's no uh, radiator down there but apart from that this here all of this here is open it, it, over here as well is open for the radiator and the intake as well all right guys going to the back of the car now we can see here first of all i want to point out this has a extended roof spoiler with the led uh, tail light right here and also now the back light right here as we can see here is all leds right here got the x7 badge right here which is really huge you can't miss it and the bmw sign right here and also he's got the chrome going all the way through the back of the car and the sign right here x drive 40i and also as i want to point out he's got the exhaust here now the exhaust it's real down here this is just the design of it all chrome as well which is really nice highlights the car and since this is a white color car you can see here the chrome really highlights the car makes the car really shine and uh, looks really nice also what I want to point out is the standard safety features which you can see here it's got four back here uh, for detection when you're reversing especially all right guys going over to the front again here is the massive grill as well and uh, the engine in here is a 3.0 twin power turbo inline six this here has a 335 horsepower and a 332 pound feet of torque and the retail price goes for around uh, seventy four thousand uh, dollars I'll pop the hood up and start the engine so you can hear how this sounds like and also uh, we'll hear how the exhaust sounds like, like as well. Alright, so let's go inside the car. First of all, here's the key right here. You don't really need to have the key. All you need to do is uh, have the key in your pocket approach the doors and just put your hand right here and it opens right there all right so looking at the door here you can see here uh, it's got the lock and unlock as well you can see here the, the window controls as well and over here is the trunk release button right here as we can see here and uh, the interior of this car is all leather as you can see it already with the stitching as well it's all black leather and uh, it's got the ambient light uh, right here as well you can see here once we go in we'll kind of turn it on and see if you can hopefully you can see it and also you can control the rear seats from the front so it's got a button right here as you can see here you control the left and right side as well so if you're having a passengers come in you could adjust this uh, from the front so you don't have to just get out of the car and uh, move the seats all right going into the car we'll start the car here so to start the car first of all press the foot on the brakes and we press the start button here and the car comes to life all right so we'll start from the dashboard here as you can see here all LED uh, dashboard right here and uh, if you look at the light left side of the steering wheel you can see here it's got the controls on the left you got the navigation uh, controls here and uh, on the right side here it's got the volume and also the call as well to answer and uh, drop calls and uh, the back of the steering wheel you can see here it's got the paddle shift here it's got the left here and it's got the right right over here so this is for uh, up gears and uh, the downshifting as well and uh, let's see here looking at the left side of the car right over here is the light system I'll put that on auto and uh, you can have the off button here the low beam here and also 
the parking sensors as well and right over here we got the vents here you can adjust it manually though and this one here is the defrosting as well all right and this car has a heads-up display as well as you can see it right here projects it to the windshield here and also going to the center of the car you can see here this has a 12 inch display here as you can see here close that message all right so right here would we'll get to home see there's a lot of functions here this is the media section as well and here's kind of like the navigation as well you can put that in the communication you go back and navigation so everything here is touchscreen here you can zoom in and out as you can see here very responsive as well also you can talk to the car as well let's say you want to put it at a certain uh, destination you can also talk to the car and it'll set that destination for you all right going back again you can see here it's got the car section right here so basically wherever you want to go you want to see the driver's uh, information here the vehicle status when you click on that right there it'll show you the tire pressure once you're driving it'll have the numbers up there you go to the engine also if you need to do an all change it'll notify you from there and check messages to see if there's any messages in the car let's say an alert or anything like that and uh, schedule services right there it'll alert you as well when is once your services are due it'll let you know so go into the go on the back button right there you go you can go to the settings general settings there also drive mode let's click on the drive mode you can see here right now it's already on sports individual you can uh, customize it to uh, whatever you want to let's say right now uh, if you want to customize customize this to what I want right now I will choose sports and the steering wheel obviously it has to be on sports and the engine response sports transmission is already on sports which will give you a faster gear shift and uh, that's how I like to drive my car but I would have another setting as well also where if I wanted to uh, go comfort you know kind of slope uh, drive you know in the city kind of take it easy I'll go with the individual eco individual right here and you can see here it's already set to uh, you know maximize the driving all right so let's go to the climate control down here as you can see down here we got the vent here and it's got a kind of metallic wheel here to uh, close and open the vent really nice and here is kind of like a led display here if you uh, turn down the the temperature it kind of changes as you can see right here and this is the fan to control the fan i just turned it off to turn it back on you press this here and it turns on it turns on again and uh, also if you want it on auto it'll be right on auto as well and this has the driver's side and the passenger side as well so you can see the passenger side you can turn it all the way down or up however they like it as well and here down here is the stereo this is the volume as well the modes and the preset buttons right there as well so which is really nice and uh, going down to the center you can see here it's got uh, two cup holders and down here as well you can slide your phone here this uh, has a uh, charging as well you can set the keys down here if you want to and uh, it's got two two cup holders set your cup there this is a pretty regular size uh, uh, water bottle here you can see here fits really good all right going over to the center of the car here you can see here the traction control uh, button there it's got the camera system now when I press the camera there you can see here the resolution in this car is uh, the resolution in this camera is really sharp you can see all the cars are really sharp and uh, once I put it in reverse you'll see it there let's do that put this in reverse all right going over to the center console as well it's got the auto on and off engine the start and stop button right there it's got the different modes right there it's got the sports comfort eco pro and the adaptive and this is the auto hold that save your stop at a light uh, stop light and you can uh, if this is ac activated you don't have to press the brakes all throughout the whole time uh, you're you're at a stop sign and this is the electronic parking brakes right here and this has a heel descent button right there so when you, when you press it 
you know, it, and you're going downhill, it'll kind of regulate the speed. And uh, right here is the adaptive uh, suspension I was talking about here. Over here, you can adjust the height of the car. You could go way high if you're uh, at, a, at a trail or on a dirt road, or if you want to load something in the back of the car, you can bring it all the way down, and the car comes way down. You can really see it. I'll demonstrate that as well. You can see it. And uh, here is the main buttons right main buttons right here you got the home media and uh, navigation here on the map and navigation and you can control it with this wheel right here and it's got the options and back button right here so this is really nice here really uh, comfortable and also the center here you can see here it's got the armrest you put your arm right there and uh, once you press it this opens up it's got a pretty huge space there you can store things there and closing it this way really nice all together again this is the black interior it's got the dashboard right here all leather stitching as well really nice and the passenger doors all leather as well it's got the controls as well it's got the memory seat controls there and it's got a wood trim as well as you can see here wood trim all throughout the car and into the driver's seat tri driver's side right there you see a wood trim really nice interior and this has a three row seat, the third row seat as well. So we'll demonstrate how those ones all come down as well. All right guys, going over to the back here, as we see here, it's got a pretty huge back seat right here. Uh, the doors here, all leather as well. You can see here, this guy's the window controls as well. Now getting to the back, uh, again, everything here is all electronic. So what you do here is press this button here. And you see here, first of all, the front seat goes forward just a little bit. Then the back seat, you can see you're moving all the way forward. So it'll give you space for you to get in. Really nice. So getting, getting in now, you can look at this space here, pretty huge for you to get in. All right guys, so looking at the trunk here, as you can see here. So in order to uh, bring all seats down, we have these buttons here, you can press here. It's got all max to be, uh, to be seated up or all max to uh, to bring the whole seat down so first of all so since every seat is up we'll press the max down here and you can see here we'll bring this up we'll take this out so that folds down so you can see here the third row folds down first then the second row comes all the way back and folds down so everything's all electronic which is really nice and therefore you have a lot of space there if you want to put in something really large you have a plenty of space here and the front seats also adjust as well which is really nice everything just works just perfectly and uh nice so let's put the front let's put the whole seats back again as you can see here again you press the max here so once you press it the front seat goes up i'll bring it close and the back seat comes up and next is the middle row that comes up as well really nice settings everything just works really perfectly and another thing here is if you bring everything up these here are all manual here the headrests are manual so you have to manually bring these up so it doesn't come up it doesn't have uh, automatic uh, features in it so you have to actually use your hands and bring it up but so far everything really looks nice this is all the buttons individually you want to bring down the third rows here and the middle row here you could use that as well and also here this has a 12 volt uh, plug-in as well you can see here really nice all right guys thanks for watching this video again uh, this is the 2020 bmw x7 40 uh, 40i all-wheel drive uh, 335 horsepower at a 332 pound-feet of torque. It really drives really nice. Uh, he's got an adaptive cruise control. He's got adaptive uh, suspensions as well, and uh, drives really smoothly. Also, he's got a surround camera as well. He's got one in front here. He's got one up there as well, and uh, the side mirrors. Um, real overall, I feel like this car is really great, fun to drive, and I want to thank uh, BMW Minnetonka for providing this car again. Uh, really great work right there. Let me know in the comments what you feel about this car, the massive grill as well. Uh, let's know uh, what you feel. 
and also uh, click that like button and the subscribe button to, uh, for more videos. I really appreciate supporting this channel as well and uh, as we continue to grow, really appreciate it and uh, thanks a lot. All right.